Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So, this is just a quick video because uh, I think this is day number 24 or 25 out of my 30 days. And I just want to show you a shoot that I did with a drone. And um, I love shooting with drone. And I want to show you, you know, how I sort my photos. So I import everything into Lightroom and, and I just go through. Usually what I do is that if I find that a photo has potential, I think this one has potential, I give it a one. Actually, this one, and if I think it's got a great potential, I give it a two. So this one, I'm going to give it a two. Uh, this one, I think I'm going to, let me put this a little bit bigger so you can see better. This one, I'm going to give it also a two. Uh, actually, I just want to see the, okay, this one is um, overexposed. This one is, uh, I don't, you see, I don't like this one because it's got too little of the island here on the left. Uh, this one is kind of okay, but this is messy. Plus, also, it doesn't look like a drone photo. Looks like I could have sh shoot this from the land. So I, I only want to take photos that really scream like this was shot, you know, with a high vintage point. So I'm not going to select this one. This one also. This one, yeah, I'll give it a one. It has potential. I like the leading line. I like the sky. This one, I think I did a little retouch on already. Um, this one, I think, is boring. This one is like a really drone shot, but I think I've got better. I'm, actually, I gave it a one originally. So this one, also, I'm going to give it a one. And, oh, actually, this and this is a pano. Uh, so sometimes what you can do is you take a, one photo with the drone, and you go up, and you take another shot. And that's what I did. And um, so basically, I right-click. Let me reset this. So you can see I'm going to reset this one. Uh, voila. So I got the two photos here. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go right click, photo merge, panorama. And uh, it doesn't always work, but in this case, it might. Let me take auto crop off. Okay, let's go on cylindrical. Let's see if cylindrical is going to work. Let's see spherical. Uh, okay, it's kind of weird because, but you know, Lightroom is trying to do its best. So I can, I can crop. No, I can boundary wrap a little bit. Maybe that's going to do the trick. But you know, I think I had a better photo. I think I had a better photo because this one is the result of what I did. I, th I, th I think I, I merged the wrong ones here. I have two photos, which I'm going to try to do the panel. So that's photo number one and that's photo number two. So I'm going to have them both selected. I'm going to go to photo merge panorama. And you know, doing panoramas from a drone is possible, but it's not always really easy. Oh, uh, you see perspective is working. Cylindrical, it says unable to merge, and spherical, unable to merge. So I'm going to do with perspective, and um, let's see here. I'm going to do a boundary wrap a little bit, see what that's going to give me. Not so bad. I like that. Yeah, boundary wrap is is good. Okay, so I've already merged it. I've already prepared a file, so here it is. I'm going to crop it. I'm going to crop it and get the best that I can out of this. And I'm going to put a 2 on this one. This one I'm going to select as a 2. Because I like, you know, the sky is great. Uh, you know, it's there is like a foreground element with the boat. There's a middle ground with a little bit of the island and the sky. So that's good. Uh, this one, well, I already have this one. This one I already have. This one is kind of like not a good composition because you've got boats. But you only got a bit of a small island. So you can't tell really what it is. Uh, this one is kind of boring. Boring. This one is okay. I'm going to give it a 1. And uh, this one is overexposed. This one I actually already retouched and I gave it a 1. Uh, this one is okay, but I think I have a darker one. I have a darker one. Yes, this one is darker. I'm going to give it a 1. I like this one because it's got like a leading line. And there's a bit of an island. There, the sky is great. I mean, we had such a great light. I usually don't shoot during the day, but the light was so great. Uh, this one I loved. You see, I gave it a 4 star. I love it because you have like one for one element, a leading line. This, and I love the, you know, how we see the water. Let's see what else we have. This one I gave it a one. This one I gave it a two. This one again I gave it a one. This one no, because it's, you know, there's only texture of the, of the water. I don't think you see really anything. This one no. This one no. I don't know. You like the fact that there's only water just, I find it's not good enough. This one is kind of better because we have a good leading line. We've got the sky. This one is really good. I gave it a three. This one I gave it a one. Uh, this one I already have. This one I don't like because the lead line is too close to the border. Um, let's see. This one is 
I give it a one. I don't know why. I'm going to give it zero. I don't like this one. I don't like this one either because there's no land. This one is kind of cool, but you know I'm lacking sky. And since I've got choice, I'm not going to take this one. This one, no. And this one, yes. This one I love. I wish it would be a bit more sky, but I, you know, we can play around that the main sky is really the water. So usually what I do then is I'm going to select only the twos, which is really, you know, the one I, I always start by the one which are like the nicest. And the workflow on retouching, you know, this drone photo is pretty simple. This is a raw file, so we can, you know, we can go ahead with the white balance, but I always, you know, open up the shadows on this one. And you see how it does less of opening shadows than on the raw file from Sony that I usually use. There's a lot less dynamic range, but I can still, you know, bring down the highlights and do my white and my black point, which is going to bring a lot of contrast, add even more contrast. And then once you get the contrast, you can play around, you know, with daylight, white balance, uh, cloudy, shade. Uh, shade is interesting. I'm hesitating between shade and daylight for the white balance. But maybe, you know, daylight is kind of cool. And on this one, I don't like the fact that there is a bit of land there, so I'm going to crop this out. And uh, voila. And you know, when it's uh, like a daylight photo, I like to give it something special. First of all, I like to focus the attention on the center, so I'm going to do my own vignetting by doing a little graded filter here on the bottom. So I'm going to go to exposure. Everything comes down to zero, and boom. Voila. And I'm going to do the same thing here, just to you know focus the attention in the center of the photo. Usually then what I do also is I take a little brush and then I, uh, I, I'm going to go here, exposure, and I'm going to add a bit of exposure, a bit of saturation, and a bit of clarity in that brush stroke. And I'm just going to brush a bit on the water to just make it a little bit interesting, a bit randomly, where it's already pretty light. Okay, now I think that's a good photo. Usually then what I do is I press Command Shift C. Oh no, I want to show you something else that I do on this. You know, when it's a daylight photo, I think it likes drama. So I have this little secret sauce that you've seen me doing this over and over, which is a split toning. On daylight photo, I like to add a bit of blue, a little bit of blue or green in the shadows, and a little bit of warm, sort of red. Yeah, a little bit of red in the highlights. Okay? It just gives like a special cross processing treatment. On the you know just on the right it's gonna go toward the red on the left toward the blue okay I kind of like that all right now that I've done that I can press command shift C and I'm gonna take everything except the brush the brush is not good but I'm gonna take the credit filter I'm gonna take everything I'm gonna go track the split toning everything okay then I'm gonna go to the next one and I'm gonna press command V and it's gonna do the heavy lifting for me now of course I need to go back in there and probably you know boost my blacks uh, maybe, you know, make it a little darker. You know, you have to adjust on every photo. But it's a kind of a cool, fast way to go through the photos. And on this one, I think I'm going to warm it up a little bit. Just a little bit. And I can do, you know, the brush strokes and stuff like that. But I honestly, I'm not so excited about this one. I'm going to go to this one, Command-V, and see what happens. Oh, yeah, the cropping I have to do. So I have to redo the cropping, which is fine. Fine by me. I'll do the cropping. No problem. Now, I like this one a lot. This one is kind of cool, that boat. Um, it's too much warm in the highlights on this one. So I think I'm going to warm up the whole photo because I think it's too blue also. Add a bit of magenta or not, or a bit of green. Yeah, I'm going to counter this. And um, on this one, I want to take this graded filter, make it a little stronger. And I want to diffuse the sky, so I'm going to do a minus clarity. Because I don't like when when clouds are too uh, definite, too HDR looking, if I may. On this one, I really like it. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do some brush strokes. Remember, I have exposure, clarity, and sharp and uh, saturation. little brush here, here. You know, of course, it's too much. So you just reduce the power of the brush. Now, I really like this one. This one, I'm going to give it like a three. Okay, let's take the next one. Command V. Okay, I like that. A little too, a little too magenta for me. So, I am gonna counter balance it with a bit of green. I'm gonna, I want to make it a little darker this one, and a little bit of contrast. Same thing. I'm gonna take my brush strokes and do some brush strokes here in the water to make the water more interesting. 
Of course, it's too much. So I'm going to bring it down. But I like this one. and give it... Yeah, it's already a four star. So that's good. Also, sometimes, uh, I think on this one, you maybe you want to brighten the sky here a little bit. So you take a big radial circle. You invert the mask. You feather it. And um, saturation, clarity, minus clarity, and a bit of exposure, I think can do the trick. Just to focus the attention a little bit more in the center of the, of the image. It just makes the, the light a little more interesting. I'll really like this one. All right, so Command V. I can even take what I did here by Command Shift C, so I change a little bit sometime. And that's how I really are. That's how I work. You know, I just go through really fast. Command V. Oh, like, the, look at that. Did most of the heavy lifting for me. Love this one. Command V. And, uh, all right. I love this one. And Command V again. Yes. This one is good. And I would go back and do some brush work on it. But that's basically, you know, how I pick my photos, how I retouch them. You know, I try to uh, go really fast in Lightroom. And I really got lucky that day uh, in Porquerolles. Porquerolles is, is an island that's in the south of France, close to Hier, which is a you know French Riviera, close to the French Riviera. And uh, we had a beautiful sky. And yeah, I love the photos that I got there. Also, there is a link uh, to buy this drone below this video. If you do want to buy the Mavic Pro, which I really advise you, please use this link. It helped me support. I get a little commission and it helped me to finance all the free videos that I do. And the Mavic is so small that you will use it all the time. I have somebody who wrote me the other day and told me he had the Mavic, the DJI Phantom 4, and the, um, the, the top one from DJI, which I forgot uh, the name, the, 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 the top, top one. He's got three drones, but at the end of the day, he was only using the Mavic because it's so small, you can literally have it in your pocket, and it's so stable. And I'm going to give you a few of these raw files so you can see the quality of the raw files. They're actually pretty good. Voilà, mesdames et messieurs. I hope you enjoy sharing this thing. Now, I didn't touch the video yet. Uh, I have a lot of uh, drone videos now, and I, I probably will do that in one of the next episodes. But that was just my little drone photography from this morning that I wanted to share with you. Mesdames et messieurs, I will see you tomorrow.